How's it going, everyone? Hope you're having a good day. I know I did. Uh, I, I just want to talk about briefly the whole YouTube striking commentary channels and trying to basically remove your favorite commentary channels. And I want to bring up a specific uh, subject of the... Because like a couple weeks ago, there was kind of like a whole wave of people being absolutely decimated over nothing. I made a few videos on it if you want to go check it out. But I want to specifically look at the case of August the Duck, a very, very popular commentary channel who recently grew the summer, like 400,000 subscribers in a month. It was incredible. Uh, the growth of August the Duck was actually pretty cool to see this summer because he was just some guy who watched YouTube his entire childhood, loved commentary channels. It was just kind of doing, you know, was funny. He was just a funny guy and YouTube rewarded him and you never really see that anymore. It's always kind of like squeaky clean vloggers or you know, Russian channels that pump out a thousand kids videos and huge quotations under the kids videos every single day that make like that are successful on YouTube. You don't really see the like, you know, the, you know, the dude with like a microphone making videos for fun, having that do well. So it's a shame how badly YouTube has since treated August's channel. Because I didn't even know how bad it was until about a week ago. About a week ago, August the Duck uploaded a video titled YouTube Hates Me, in which he actually did feature and link one of my videos, which I'm very thankful for. Thank you, August. I'm glad you love the video. Uh, and basically, in his video, he goes over how poorly YouTube has treated him in like the last couple weeks, giving him two strikes that he has repealed, as well as you know, plenty of demonetization and plenty of age restriction. And let me just say, August's channel is not an egregious channel. He doesn't go out of his way to make content that would be against YouTube's community service or community guidelines, I should say, or break a terms of service or anything like that. And YouTube has been extremely harsh with the this amount of age restrictions and demonetizations, uh, nevertheless, the strikes that they've also given him. And it's just like, it's unfort. It's just sad to see because he was kind of like a ray of hope for, you know, people who were definitely here when, like, real YouTube was, like, really... When I mean real YouTube, that's subjective. I'm talking about, like, late 2015, 2016, even, like, 2017, man, with, like, all that nonsense going down. It was a fun time. Like, people were posting whatever they wanted. It, it was a good time. And slowly, YouTube's kind of made a shift towards this really squeaky clean, corporate, weird... I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, so it's just good to see this, and it's just such a shame to see that, like, YouTube has, after giving August this chance, kind of given, like, the community, like, a little, a little wink and a nod that, you know, it's okay, you know, you guys can actually still make the content, like, maybe. They were like, psych, just kidding, strike, strike, demonetization, age restriction, age restriction, demonetization, age restriction, all in, like, the span of a couple weeks. I think we've all been noticing this, but YouTube has really been, you know, shifting the narrative of what kind of content you can find on the platform. It's going more and more mainstream, which is good in a sense, but you're, you know, because you'll have more people who can watch it because it's more mainstream. Of course, this is kind of how it works. But the community aspect is really just, I don't know, it, it's been burning out a little bit, especially, you know, if you just started watching YouTube in like 2018, 2019, you're not going to feel its dramatic effects as if you've been watching for longer or have just known about old YouTube. Like, you don't have to have watched 2015 YouTube when it came out in 2015 to like be able to go back and like be like, wow, this is a this is a special era, to put it lightly. This is a special era. And to just be able to contrast it with what we have now, which, you know, we have a good community. We got good people. We got fun going on. Things are interesting. But there's just there's just something dark about how bland it's gotten. Um, it just it, it it is what it is. And the thing is, I don't blame the creators because as you can see, if you're not bland, if you don't, if you do not fit in, you will not have a YouTube channel tomorrow. You will not wake up and be able to make a video because your channel will be gone. In this video, I specifically, you know, covered August the Duck because I thought his case was especially egregious. And since he featured one of my videos in that video, I thought it'd just be a little nice to, you know, cover his situation specifically, just try and get as many people to know of how unfair some stuff is. But do realize this has happened to so many people. If you haven't watched my other videos on the subject, uh, I uploaded them a couple weeks ago. Something along the lines of YouTube will terminate my channel and serious video, please watch. I think those were the two videos and approximately the titles where I go over basically, this is happening to everyone and it's unfortunate and I don't know how much longer this kind of, uh, this period, this grace period where commentary channels are allowed to exist will last. 
And I guess we'll see. Only time will tell. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, turn on notifications. And after you've done that, click on one of the four videos on screen right now, or just go ahead and watch any of my older videos. Watching old videos really does promote the channel, and I really do appreciate it. And if you want to become a channel member, that's super cool, but you don't have to. I just appreciate you watching. See you in the next one. Peace.